Good morning. Uh, today we are uh, looking at how do we measure circles. Um, circles and arcs. And so um, I would like to note that this part is not a line, and so this wouldn't be a repeatable program. However, um, yeah, the skills in it um, are used on a regular basis. So let's start out with a circle that is in the field of view. Uh, there's a lot of different ways and you can use different tools to use circles uh, to measure circles uh, but we're just going to do a we'll do a couple different ones but let's go ahead and start out with um, our line here uh, where it says line our measure feature we're going to tell it we're going to switch that to circle because that's what we're trying to measure uh, and in this case it's inside the field of view uh, so i'm going to use my feature finder uh, and so what i'll do is i'm just going to go click right around here uh, notice that the, the double circle means that it's going to do a full circle. Uh, if I was to click inside there, it would just be a an arc, but since it's inside the field of view, and I just kind of click three evenly spaced parts. Um, up comes the finder. You know, if I'm happy with it, if I need to adjust the points or um, anything like that, I can go into the point cloud and I can click right here. Um, I can adjust it if I want. I like bigger finders, so uh, anytime I adjust it, make sure I click inside to remeasure. If I wanted to increase the samples, I could do that here. I could get a whole bunch here, but uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep her down in the 20. You know, you know 1520 is pretty good. Oh, not 377. Uh, let's go. Just go in there. And type 25. How many 25 samples? Um, I'm happy with that. I can just, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, uh, if I did want to, you know, since this is a full measurement circle, if I wanted to uh, tolerance this and put in the nominal value, I could. Um, so the attribute, I do know that this has a diameter of, you know, over here by clicking on the reporting. Um, I change it to diameter. It has a, a one you know, a point, it's a tenth of an inch is the nominal value in. Uh, let's say we'll go with a three thou, three thousandth, uh, uh, plus or minus three thou. All right, and I'm just gonna report the results. I'm not gonna worry about filing it, uh, sending it off to a file, but yeah, also in this area, you could change the name if you wanted to call this one and it's an upper hole. Of course, there's no spaces allowed. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a couple different, uh, you could change your uh, evaluation type in this case. We're just going to keep it at least squares. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to hit the run button quick, make sure that it's still working. And then we'll go ahead and save. And so now we've got that up here. All right. Uh, if I only wanted to get an arc, you know, we could we would still tell it we're going to measure a circle. but uh, So let's say we want to get a circle here. Once again, I'm going to still use my feature finder. And uh, you know, let's, measure the, let's measure the radius of that arc right there. So um, in this case, you know, we'll start here. I kind of put it, I want to get the, I want to get the, um, the feature in the middle of the frame. And we'll just kind of click here now. Right now I'm going to try to get a circle, but Let's change that to arc. So there's the beginning of the arc. There's the middle. And there's the end. So now it looks. Yeah, and once again, I could go in and change the samples. Make sure if you wanted to change the samples, you do need to click into that point cloud. Uh, turn back there. I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Actually, we'll turn on the samples a little bit. Right, very good. Happy with it. We're going to go ahead and save. So there's two, um, and if I wanted to uh, probably change the name of this one uh, instead of being upper hole one, it's carrying forward the the naming, and so I'm going to change that to uh, we'll call it left corner. Uh, same. Okay. Um, and so. If we were to move over to a larger field of view, so like here's here's a this circle does not fit in the field of view at all. So um, 
so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this in parts and um, and uh, from there we can um, we can uh, measure measure it and get it uh, get it get it uh, reported the way we want so uh, we're gonna click on measure and once again we'll feature find and so I'm just gonna start here I like to get the edge in the center of the field of view and I will gonna measure an arc right here and so I've got a nice arc right there there's one and we'll scoot over here and we'll just sometimes sometimes it wants to measure the line you gotta make sure you don't move the mouse button when you uh, don't move the mouse when you're when you're clicking because it thinks it's trying to measure a line but uh, so there's a second one and we'll kind of go over here get this third part and we'll just go one two three notice we've got three point clouds now and the fourth one is right here there we go we've got our we've got our uh, our we've got four four arcs for that and what we'll do is we'll name this one we'll call this one the center of the bolt pattern um, now let's go ahead and put some tolerances in there nominal value 250 tolerance is carried forward pretty happy with that we'll go ahead and hit the run button make sure it's measuring the way we want yep looks good and we'll hit save so now you notice what's happened we've just, we've seen the uh, we've got an arc a circle and the, okay uh, also on this uh, on this stage I want to show you I, I have a washer uh, that I you know, just this plain washer I'll show you how we can measure a large circle in the field that doesn't fit in the field of view and that's using a quick um, a quick uh, uh, giving it some parameters and then using a file path so if I had the if I wanted to measure a circle so I would tell I want to measure a circle now because this, this circle it could take me a long time to go all the way around this thing because it's pretty big um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch I'm going to use a point entry tool I'm going to click once here and I'm going to scoot over to the other side and I'll put one there and then I'll come down and eh, let's see I'll just go right there so I've got these three points um, and uh, once I've got those, you know, it knows where that circle is. And so um, you can kind of see it out over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I go to where it says point entry. And uh, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say replace all finders. And the finder here is point entry. I'm going to change it to uh, the uh, feature finder. What this is going to do it's going to give me a path generation okay and uh, if I look at it it looks like it's going to measure in there uh, it's only got five let's let's change that we'll up that I want let's go eight so it's going to go eight eight path points I'm going to generate the path and we'll see and let's see what happens if when we run this thing see what happens yeah, so if you notice, oh, a lot of these are failing. And they're failing because uh, the direction is uh, directions going the wrong way. If you look at, you know, your light is looking light to dark. Um, what I want to do is I want to go in. I'm going to change those, change those directions. And I'm just going to go right here, highlight all of them because they're all going the wrong way. I'm going to say swap selected directions notice how the arrow changed and then we'll hit run again and see what happens and now you're starting to pick up some nice points and I've got some this shiny wash has got some ambient light kicking onto it I gotta block that out but uh, 
Well, that's measuring a larger circle using a feature finder and you know and overwriting a manual, basically giving it some parameters and generating a path. Um, it's uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, take care.